Hey guys, it's Ed back at the shop. Um, I'm cl cleaning up uh, an old hammer head. This is an old plum. My dad gave this to me when I was a boy. I probably, oh, probably about 14 or 15 years old. I think I put two hammer handles in it up to now. I'm, I'm fixing to put another hammer handle in. When I had originally got this, the end was all beat over it was it most of the damage you see on it it happened i smoothed it up of course i didn't have much to work with when i was a boy but i'm gonna kind of sand and see if we can make the ball peen part look a little better and i'm about ready to reset this in a new handle so um uh, let's uh i've uh kind of cleaned my ways off most of you guys know watch the channel always have a, a paintbrush on the lathe uh, I don't use air on my machines to blow chips off. And uh, so since I am going to be grinding, I'm going to go ahead or, or you know, I'm going to have grinding grit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cover that up with an old uh, T-shirt. Sometimes it can help. Uh, this, this isn't precision, it's just uh, purely cosmetic. That's a pretty poor strip there. I think that was 60. I think this is, uh, I think it's 80 grit here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just, I thought since the handle was out of it, I'd give it a little tune up. Uh, I've been using this a long time. I've kept it and my dad had got it, I think at an auction, a bunch of old junk tools and Let's see how true that means. That yeah, might be good enough. Like I said, it's just cosmetic. Nothing precision. It uh, means a lot. My my dad gave it to me, and uh, it was like I said, it had a broken handle, and uh, have no idea how old it is. But it's uh, I've certainly had it for more than fifty years, so kind of nice having the old lay there. Hope you can see that in there. And just kind of clean it up. Nice to have a lay there for little things like that. I could have just did it by hand, but uh, and I've got most of this handle shaped down. It's you know it's close. It's not perfect, but uh, let's get this finished up, and I'll be right back. Okay. I got two of these handles. I got them off Amazon. I thought they were supposed to be hickory. I don't know if they're hickory or not. They don't look like it. But uh, So a lot of times what I do... Oh, guys, let's head back at the shop. Well, we've got our uh, handle fit in the old ball-peen hammer, the classic, and... Uh, that come out pretty good. I've done better, but um, anyways, I have not put a metal wedge in this. Over the years, I, you know, when it loosened up, I would drive a additional wedges in there. But I got a wood wedge in there, and I went ahead and I glued it. And I know there's some thought some people uh, don't glue them. I don't usually glue them. I didn't like the way the uh, 
I cut the groove out in there and it didn't come out as nice as I wanted. And usually these handles are usually pre-split. These were not. And uh, anyways, I got these handles off of uh, Amazon and I thought they were hickory, but uh, I don't think they're hickory. They're, they're okay. Um, I weighed my old handle. This is about 197 and a half grams. Uh, the new handle is a little bit longer, and uh, it is, uh, I think, around 230-some grams. But uh, it is a little bit longer. Uh, maybe you can see there. Maybe about an inch longer. I guess I can measure. i got a caliper right here. Yeah, about almost three quarter of an inch, seven hundred thirty-five thousandths. But that's how they come. I got sixteen-inch handles. So, anyway, so one of the things I'm going to do is I've got some uh, boiled linseed oil. Um, I got this at our uh, local Ace True Value. Uh, linseed oil is good to put on your. Uh, your handles, you usually put it on handles that don't have any finish or anything like that. But it'll, it'll soak into almost any wood, especially old finishes. But uh, I'm going to put some linseed oil on there. And it, I read the instructions. And if you use this, put your bags in a, a baggie or if you use steel wool or anything to buff the finish off, anything you've got that on, do not throw it in your trash. Uh, do not throw it in your trash because you could have spontaneous combustion. So uh, put it in a bag, fill it up with water, put it in your, dispose of it properly. But uh, yeah, you don't want to have rags and stuff around with that sitting on there. So we don't want any spontaneous combustion. But So I'll put some uh, linseed oil on there and usually we'll let it soak. Uh, I'm going to put some on there, and uh, I can do a couple applications, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I've got a couple applications. You can see that's uh, still a little wet. You can kind of see a uh, little bit of difference, kind of hard to tell. I'll let that soak in. And then one of the things I'll do, uh, probably in a day or so, I will soak this head or put some linseed oil up around the head and uh, we'll kind of let that uh, soak in uh, to the wood and uh, there was a lot of draft angle in this old hammerhead and of course I put the the big side down here but uh, really uh, the hole in the middle of the hammerhead was quite small but anyways that linseed oil will help swell that dry wood out but uh, there you go we've uh, restored our hammer handle and uh, I think for the most part uh, come out pretty good uh, here's my next project I'll do that this is an old shop hammer and I've had this thing for oh I don't know probably close to uh, uh, 40 years 35 40 years anyways I think I put two handles in it but uh, and it's got a round wedge in there. You can see there on the end. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think about them. Um, they're okay. I'm gonna try to get it out of there and save it. But uh, I am gonna. And so that's what I got the other handle for. That's for that. But that'll be another day. So um, I'll let this kind of soak into the wood and dry. I'll put another application of the linseed oil on there. Uh, I'm not sh really sure about the brand. This is uh, Sunnyside Boiled Linseed Oil. Like I said, I got it at my local Ace Hardware. Uh, but there you have it. Uh, it it's kind of, uh, hammer's got a nice balance to it. Uh, looks pretty straight. So, uh, thanks for watching. I know this is kind of unusual content, but... Uh, anyways, uh, just, uh, keeping our tools in shape at the shop. You have a great day, everyone. Bye.